Hi guys, I just wanted you to know that the laser pointer dot tutorial will be coming soon. That's the tutorial that will add the dot at the end of the laser sight. So don't worry about that, it will definitely come up. It's 3 4 tutorials ahead, so it should be coming up very soon. So enjoy. Hi guys, and welcome back to our tutorial series. In today's tutorial series, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a mailing system. Now, after the mailing system, I'm going to be teaching you how to make windows because I need to actually show you how to take damage using melee as well and at the moment I already set up set it up so it can take damage for the windows and um, after that I'll be teaching the windows then the bullets and then the pause menu so let's get started the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your ray shoot script like so and we want to define the variables we need for our melee attack system first one's going to be for attack timer it's going to be equals to a float and it's going to be zero the second was move for attack cooler it's going to be a tight float it's going to be equals to one because i want the player to wait one second before we can hit the melee attack button again now inside the update function, let's create an if statement, open bracket, make that one more time, if statement, open bracket, close bracket, there we go. <clears throat> First one's going to just say, if attack timer is greater than zero, then attack timer minus equals time dot delta time. You should be so used to this that just basically counts down the timer again it makes it go back to zero and we want to make sure we can't surpass zero so we're going to say attack timer if it's less than zero then obviously we set it back to zero all right that's that part done now scroll all the way to the bottom of the script and we want to make a new function for the attack system we're going to say function and I spelled that wrong. Attack. Open bracket, close bracket, open code brace, closing curly brace. And inside here, we're going to create a ray cost. Now, the ray cost is going to be used for taking, checking what's in front of us and if we can take damage from it using the melee system. So, we're going to say for hit attack, it's going to be a type ray cost hit. Next I want to tell Unity what direction I'm going to be making the ray. So far direction yeah direction should be alright. No direction attack. It's going to be a type vector 3. It's going to be equals to transform. So our transform transform with a capital T Transform direction, open bracket, close bracket, vector 3, dot forward, and closing semicolon. Save that. Now, next, we want to display the ray so we can see in our scene, mo uh, scene view. So, debug dot draw ray, open bracket, close bracket, and closing semicolon. And the first one's gonna be from the transform dot position then the direction it's facing, direction attack, times the range which we have made already, so we can use that again. That was from the bullet one by the way. Um and the colour of the line dot red will be alright for me. Save this. Now let's start creating the extra ray cost. So we're gonna say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace. We're gonna say if physics dot ray cost open bracket close bracket 
transform dot position comma direction attack comma hit attack comma range okay let's start done now we're going to say if our raycast hits something with the following tag or what not do something no actually I'm not going to do this part yet because I will need to teach you the window part for this so we leave this out and um, for now that should be okay but before we do anything let's just add the animation so I'm gonna say game object dot find open bracket close bracket speech marks and I'm gonna say find the object that has animation so it's called animation so you put your object name there dot animation dot play open bracket close bracket closing semicolon speech marks and the animation I want to play is called smack so that's my attack animation save this go all the way to the top underneath your if statement that checks when we press the shoot button we want, make, we want to make a new statement now I've got some things added on so I'm going to find a new space before the closing curly brace for the whole update function let's make it there <clears throat> so I'm going to say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace and close curly brace and over here I'm going to say if our input dot get key sorry no allowed get key dot get mouse button open bracket close bracket equals to one then we want to attack then I'm just going to call it attack function open bracket close bracket closing semicolon and then I'm going to set the attack timer to attack cooler now this won't work yet because we're missing something right on top of this if statement we want another one saying open bracket closing curly brace and inside this we're going to say if attack timer is equals equals to zero so if our attack timer is greater than zero we can't attack but as soon as it resets back to zero we can start hitting it again okay so let's save this and let's see what happens in unity okay so far no errors great so if I go in here and I press the that's it the right key mouse button and it works he attacks yes wait one second or you can spam it oh no you can't it's not working for some reason hold on um, where is the script again? Okay, so let's see if the timer goes up. Yeah, it does. Yeah, he has to wait. Oh, it's because my same key is doing something else. Let me just turn that off for a second. Oh, that's okay. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. Yep, okay. So you have to wait one second before you can hit it again. So yeah, the melee system works and it's doing no damage yet because I need to make the windows so we can start breaking them using melee attacks as well. And that's when I'll show you how to do that. So yeah, that's how you create a melee attack system. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon.